I want to talk to you this morning about training your dog or your puppy a default behavior. You notice that he is coming up to me and he is offering the SIT. I have not taught him SIT, but I have been teaching him a default behavior, meaning that when he approaches me, he's not to jump, jump around, jump up on me. This is his breakfast. I do this with his breakfast. This is Fresh Pet Select. I'm going to turn my back on him. Bernie. 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 Okay, getting him listening to his name. Coming over, making eye contact. Very good. He's sitting. Very good. Good. But I am not teaching him to sit. This is different. I'm teaching him a default. Good. Bernie. Good. So what I want him to do when I call his name it, uh, good, good boy, is to come to me and make eye contact with me and to put his little butt on the ground. Very good. So I'm teaching a default behavior, meaning that throughout life, when this dog comes up to his owner, he's going to be a service dog. He can't be bouncing all over someone who has uh, needs, you know, that uh, is frail. Also, dogs don't need to be bouncing off of anybody. So, and the, I like that too, you know, because he, when they go down, when they go down, that means they are kind of married to that spot. I'm not teaching him SIT and DOWN. I'm teaching him to come up to me in a respectful way and then to marry himself to that spot, either with a sit or a down. Bernie, he needs to look at me. Good. So I'm working on his name, and I'm working on his default behavior, meaning that when he comes up to a person, he is to put his little hiney on the floor. Now I'm going to do it in a sitting position, because see what happens? Now he comes up on me, and I'm going to wait. There it is. There's the default position, and I'm going to feed that position. This is his breakfast. So what I'm doing is I'm teaching this puppy to think about how he's going to approach people and how he's going to get rewarded for approaching people is to sit, not to climb, not to jump, not to scream, not to bark. Just wait. There it is. Good. See, I'm not giving him a command, and what I'm doing when he jumps up on me is I'm taking my hands away, so he's not getting food, and he's also not getting his chest scratch, okay? Now, it's super important that you notice a dog when it's giving you an offered behavior. That's what this is. He's coming up to me, and he's offering to jump on me. That didn't get him what he wanted, and then he offered the, there he goes, then he offered the sit, and I fed that, and I scratched that, and I loved on that. Good boy. And you'll notice I stay very calm when I'm training puppies and horses. Animals and people can't learn anything when they're in a high state of excitement. Very good. But now, see, it's my job that throughout the day, if he comes up and he offers the sit, I have to scratch him and pet him and tell him what a good boy he is because we often don't notice the good behaviors. We only notice what we don't want. So there he is climbing on me, so I'll just ignore him. There he sat. Oh, nope. You have to make sure you're feeding the behavior. Like if he sits, then you can't feed him if he jumps up after. See, like that? Good. But this is called setting a default behavior, and you will not see any of the top trainers on YouTube teaching this. But all of my dogs know that if they come up to me, they have to not put their feet on me. And he's going to be a service dog, and he is not to put his feet on anyone. So, I hope this helps you with your puppy training. You know, if you put their breakfast on the floor in a dish, you're missing a really good opportunity to teach your puppy to think. And notice I don't have a leash or a collar on him. So we're doing some bonding, and as he had his breakfast, he got to do some thinking, and he got to do some learning. So, 
think about what default behavior you want and get to work on it next time it's time to feed. I'm going to wait till he gets off me. Good. I'm out of food, but I got lots of love. I got all kinds of love. That's a good thing about not training with food. You never run out of love. So thanks for watching.